So for today, we are going to be sketching our multiplication problems. Okay, for today, we're going to be using this line. When you see the line, that's going to represent our tens. The dot will represent our ones. Okay, so that's going to represent our tens and our ones. Okay, so our first problem, we are going to do 33 times three, so we're gonna have three rows with 33 in each row. So let's go ahead and model, I mean sketch our 33, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. So that's three groups of 33. Now let's look at our ones place. Okay, how many ones do we have in each row? We have three in each row. So we have three, six, nine ones in all. Okay, we have nine ones in all. Is that enough to regroup? No. So right here, I'm gonna write a nine and I'm gonna write a nine in our ones place. Okay, because three, six, nine, three times three is nine. Now let's look at our tens place. Okay, how many rows do we have? We have three rows of 10, three rows, and how many tens in each row? Three. So we have three rows with three tens in each. All right, so let's count. How many tens do we have in all? We have three, six, nine. We have nine tens in all. So I'm gonna put a nine in my tens place. This nine is the same as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So I have 90 tens, 90 plus nine equals 99. Okay, but when you're doing it this way, okay, when you're solving it and you're doing three times three, you're actually doing three times 30, okay? That is why you get 90 and that is why your nine is in the tens place. Okay, let's do B. On B, let's go ahead and do um, 15 times 3. So 15 times 3, and we have three rows of 15. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you have three rows of 15. So you how many rows do you have three? How many ones in each row? Well, you have five in each row. So how many ones do we have in all? Well, we have five, 10, 15. We have 15 ones. Do we have enough to regroup? Yes, we do. So we're gonna regroup the ones. So let's go ahead and box in 10 of them. So five, 10, we're gonna box these and we're going to regroup them. We're moving them over into our one, into our tens place. Those are my regrouped ones, okay? So those are the ones I'm regrouping. So I had 5, 10, 15. I have 15 ones. So I write my five in my ones place. That's what I kept here, five. I kept my five. And then these 10, I regrouped them over into my tens place. That is what I'm gonna bring up here. My I brought one group of 10 over. Now let's see, how many tens do we have in each row? We have one 10 in each row with one that we regrouped. Okay, with one that we regrouped. So how many tens do we have in all? One, two, three, four, four tens in all. So our answer is 45. So if we look at what we had here, we had one, two, three, four, five. We had five tens, I'm sorry, five ones, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 tens. 40 plus five equals 45. C, we have 42 times three. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 
10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. So 42 times 3 rows. Okay, so here, how many 1s do we have? We have 2, 4, 6. Do we have enough to regroup? No. So we're just going to put down our 6 right there. How many 10s do we have? Well, we have 4 in each row. So we're going to count by 4s. 4, 8, 12. We have 12 10s. Do I have enough to regroup? Yes, I do. So I'm going to box in 10. So here's 2, 4, 8, 10. So I do have enough to regroup. So I'm going to bring these over and make a 100. So now I have 100 plus 2 10s is 20 plus 6 1s is 20 is 6 which equals to 126. So when I do that here, when I had when I count the number of 10s I have, 4 8 12, I have 12. I put my 2 here, which is my 2 10s, and then I I regroup my 100 which goes right there. So then you have 126. Okay. Letter D. D we have 27 times 4. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So sketch it out. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So you have four rows of 27. Let's count how many ones do we have? Well, we have seven ones in each row. So I'm going to count by sevens. 7, 14, 21, 28. 7, 14, 21, 28. I have 28. Do I have enough to regroup? Yes, I do. So I'm going to go ahead and box in 10. So we know that these are 7. 3 more is 10. Okay, let's do another one. 4 and then 6 more is 10. So I can regroup this one into 110, 4, 8, 9, 10. Here's another 10. I can bring them over and make another 10. Do I have enough here? 7, 8? No, I do not. So I have 8 ones. I carried over 2 tens. So I regrouped two tens. So I'm going to put it in my tens place, which represents this. And now let's see, how many tens do we have? We have two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Do I have enough to regroup? Yes, I do. So I'm going to take my ten and regroup them into a hundred. Okay, so now I have... I said I have 10 right, and I'm going to regroup them over into my 100. So I have 0 10s and then 100. So I have 100 plus 0 plus 8 equals 108. Because 4 times 2 is 8 plus the 2 that I regrouped is 10. My 1 goes into my 100s, and I have 0 10s, and 100, 108. You will go ahead and you will do E, F, and G on your own. You will sketch those out and solve, and then tomorrow we will continue.